Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name's Callie Say and I'm in horse trailer sales here at Frederick. For those of you that aren't familiar, if you've been tuning in today or yesterday, you're probably already familiar with this gentleman. But this is Ben, he's the president of Cimarron and yeah. why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? And... Bet. Thank you Callie. Glad to be here with TransWest and I've been working with TransWest now for over 20 years as a manufacturer and dealer rep. Um, been a great relationship with TransWest and uh, look forward to doing more videos and, and helping you learn more about Cimarron trailers today. So. Yeah, Ben thought he was just going to come out here on vacation, maybe look at a few trailers and we've put him to work the entire time. <laughs> he's been doing back-to-back -back videos, so if you yeah. guys haven't caught any yet, he's got about four more videos he has to do we'll today. We'll just keep doing them until i got to get on the plane. Pretty so. much, he's going no, to be working until he leaves. No, so. it's, it's good. We're going to look at a really cool trailer here in a little bit that yeah. Andrew's going to bring to us and some, some neat features that our employees back in Oklahoma put together. We're a really great group of employees and uh, over 100 of us employee owners of Cimarron Trailers. It's really a great time in the industry right now. Yeah. So. so if Cherish, if you want to look around, this is a pretty tight area yep. and we're going to pull in a 36 foot 6 inch trailer and a big dually pickup. Yep. Really awesome setup here, and Andrew's coming in hot here. <laughs> He's uh, got his truck and trailer. This is a spread axle with air ride, and he has the dump that he's gonna just turn on on that back axle. So he's basically gonna spin this around on that front axle. Um, so what he's doing, he's turning this thing really tight. You can see that back axle just basically skid around. With these pivoted this trailer in a tight area. Like Callie said, this thing's 36 feet long. Um, with the Venos on the front, he can really spin this thing around, which he obviously just did and, and had fun doing it. So. so in our last video, you talked about that, you guys talked about that air dump, correct? Yes, we talked about the air dump and how that took the pressure off of that back axle. And then that allows you to turn in a sharp turn. Mm -hmm. um, some of these fairgrounds and facilities you get into are, are tight on space. Yeah. So. And it's not something we normally do with, with just the tandem axles. It has a little bit of a spread in it. It's usually in our triple axles that we start to worry about having too much pressure on those sidewalls, correct? Correct. The triple axle is where you really need that dump on that third axle. Uh, but you know, Andrew loves to experiment with things and try it on this spread axle yeah. tandem and it really worked out well. Yeah. And I mean, you guys just saw it. It's a super tight area and that it just skated around on that back act or those back tires. Yeah, you yeah. can see it. So yeah. it's a pretty cool little feature. It is. And the construction, you're putting that big 19 and a half inch tire on there. Those are commercial grade tires. They can take, you know, the abuse of that and uh, just add the value to this trailer. So this one, as we've discussed, is an air ride trailer. Kind of what are the benefits of an air ride for those of you people that didn't well, tune into last video? The air ride, First of all, it's going to put less stress on your animals. You know, we've got a horse trailer here. You've got years of, of training in these horses. You're going to go to an event and compete. You want those horses to be as comfortable as they can while they're transporting. These roads, as much road work as they're doing, it's still, the road conditions aren't great. And Especially anytime, in Colorado. <laughs> well, Colorado, <laughs> Oklahoma, a lot of places we go, those roads are, are tough. And if we can reduce the stress on the horses, they're going to perform better. They're going to be rested when they get there. Um, relaxed and ready to go compete rather than having to take more days to recover from that long trip. And so the air ride, we see benefits on the, the horses, the livestock initially. Uh, we see benefits in the trailer. Uh, there's less stress on the trailer. And then driving, I mean, pulling these trailers in that front seat of the pickup, you can feel the difference of the air ride. And it takes stress out of the drivers of the truck. Um, just an all around great system. It's its initial expense up front, but there's long term value down the road. I know when we ever get an air ride trailer in on trade, they go so fast yeah. and their resale value tends to be really great as well. Yeah. So you may pay a little bit more now, but you tend to save it in the long right. run. Right. There's cost and there's value, you know, and we're looking for long-term value in the life of this trailer and the animals you're going to haul. Yep, absolutely. What kind of air ride system and are there multiple air ride systems? Why did you guys decide to go with Dexter? Well, we use Dexter axles on all of our trailers. Uh, we buy direct from Dexter, have a great working relationship with them. Um, they've had this Airflex suspension out for many years now, and 
we've got a great working relationship with Dexter in partnership with ASI, who helped develop this air suspension uh, with Dexter Axle. Uh, we've been able to work together and, and add improvements to those axles over the years. And we believe in air ride, we believe in the benefits of it. Um, so our relationship with Dexter and we believe in this system, that's why we've gone with that. And has it, over the time, have they, have they made quite a few improvements as far as back then? Like you've been in the trailer industry for quite a while, correct? 20 plus years now yeah, already. So Andrew's uh, believed in air rides. Um, we've talked about this too in the past, how complex the air rides were and difficult to install. Um, the early day air rides were you know, um, smaller companies building them and had issues that if that air ride broke or if a component broke, you were stuck. Um, you couldn't get traveling. So as we evolved to the torsion axle air ride system, the Airflex really took that piece of being stuck out of the equation. You know, if something happened, an airline breaks or a pump goes out, a battery's dead, you can still go. You're not stuck on the highway. Um, so working closely with our customers, with our dealers, with our suppliers. It's this whole chain of, of people involved to get a final good product. And yes, Dexter's been responsive as there's been issues or as we see wear and tear on items. Uh, we work closely with them to get those improvements made and um, they just keep getting better all the time. So. And so this trailer we've got here, we've done a video on it before, but it's really cool to have the president of Cimarron out here to kind of go through this. This is. Andrew, our general manager's demo trailer. So it's a little bit dirty. It just came from a show. Okay. Um, you're going to see a trailer that's actually currently in use. Yep. Um, so this trailer is for sale, but he's done a lot of things on this trailer that are not typical to what we see on the lot. Correct? Right. And that's what's the fun part about having dealers and ourselves that use the product. You know, we just don't build them and sell them and, and good luck to the customer. We're using this product. We're involved with our customers when we're not at work. You know, um, in Oklahoma, we're going to cattle shows, we're going to team ropings, high school rodeos. Um, there's a lot of weekends that that Cimarron trailer took to my pickup using personally. Same thing with Andrew and, and a lot of in sales here too. You're involved in the industry when you're not actually working. Um, and it's those relationships that are, are fun to, to foster and, and help bring ideas, go use it on the weekend, bring ideas back Monday morning and how do we make this trailer better than the last one we built. So yes, this trailer has a lot of extras that Andrew has experimented with um, from cameras that we'll look at to this is loaded with tack um, like they just got back from a show. So yeah. it's, it's fun to look at the shiny ones on the lot, but it's also I think almost more enjoyable to see how are they actually getting used. Absolutely. And that's one thing we really like about Cimarron is that they do take a lot of input and feedback like they're constantly trying to improve their trailers and you can see it here we yesterday after doing videos Ben walked through the lot with us and we talked about ways that we can make these trailers better this is a really cool unique feature this roll-up door we've put roll-up doors on the fronts of trailers for years Andrew wanted to try this on this trailer and he's really enjoys how it works out but the the full height roll-up door really easy to use and once you open it, it's out of your way and I think you talked in an earlier video about you're not walking around it regardless of which side you have to unload mm -hmm. you get full access to this back tech yeah he really likes that a, a bunch of people can help unload this trailer and you can get in and out without like you said going around a big door or yeah. anything like that so it makes it extremely usable well we've got got real use here we're looking at I and mean, we've got the, the big manure cart or, yeah. or tote wagon here um, a big husky uh, toolbox there um, saddle racks yep so this is like it just came back from the event yep. you know but the storage room and there's plenty of room built into this trailer mm -hmm. for your equipment and since we have kind of some exposure back here um do you want to talk about some of the construction of Ab the Cimarron's absolutely be glad to if you notice our walls what we call our walls studs the supports that's a, a rectangular tube we don't use any C-channel in the construction of a Cimarron trailer. It's all rectangular tubing that we've designed the extrusions for. Our extruded aluminum on the outside of the trailer, you see the nice rib, the nice radius panels in there. On the back side, you see where we've welded that. And there's specific areas where that gets welded so that that weld heat does not transfer to the outside. So when the, you look at the outside paneling, it's very clean. You don't see weld marks. The whole construction of a Cimarron is when we get done, the entire trailer is very clean and aesthetically pleasing. You don't see a bunch of bolts or rivets on the outside of the trailer. I mean, 
you go buy a brand new pickup and you don't see bolts all over it, right? Mm -hmm. Or you don't see welds all over it. So we've tried to incorporate those ideas into the foundation and design of Cimarron and, and keep improving upon that. So. Absolutely. We believe in a welded structure and we've designed it where a lot of those welds you don't see at the end. But. Yeah, it makes, it makes it look really good, but it's super duper functional. Yes. Um, so he's also done a fold up step here on the rear. And when that trailer's aired up, it kind of, it's a little bit taller. So it's nice to have a fold down step so you can easily get in and out if you're lugging a lot of equipment in. Absolutely. Now these, these shocks back here, do you find that having these here is better than a hold back or? Absolutely. Years ago, we used to put a hold back on it and uh, it didn't add tension to those uh, steps. So while it held the step up, when you'd bounce that step down, it would kind of sit there and rattle. This is a lot quieter. Plus it's just, when you take your boot, you're going to be, imagine having buckets or bridles and need to flip that step up or down. I mean, you can do it real easy, real quick. Absolutely. So back here, this is kind of not something you typically see on a head to head. This is a four horse head to head and he's got basically a full width rear tack back here. Um, this is where he puts most of his stuff. On a typical head to head, you're going to have a rear load and a side and a side load. What are some of the benefits of having a rear tack back here? So the main benefit from having this big storage room at the back is that we can get the axles positioned in the right spot on the trailer. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of head-to-heads that we build are through traditional rear load head-to-head, -head, and we still build those. We sell quite a few of those. On this one, he wanted to experiment with getting the axles further ahead, so you take some of that tongue weight off of the tow vehicle. And head-to-head, -head, you always have a side ramp as well, and we need to keep that side ramp a certain distance from the axles. So the big rear tack storage room gives us more tack back here, but allows us to get our axles forward and then move that side ramp up as well. So there's a lot of benefits. And I know a lot of people tend to really like these, these rear tacks because if anybody ever rear ends you, you've got so much material that they have to go through to get to your horses. Correct, there is an added safety value from those horses being protected, being further away from you know, a, an instance like that. Absolutely. Anything else you want to touch on while we're back here? You know, we've got the Cimarron structure, the aluminum frame at the back, double tail lights is the standard we do on every Cimarron trailer. We believe in safety, that's a big thing in our design. So having that upper tail light, you're not always worried about the car right behind you. You want to look about those cars three or four, six back, you know, and see that you're braking and that you're turning. Yeah. Let them prepare. Absolutely. So on some of our bigger trailers now we've we didn't do it on this one it was kind of pre that but we've we've started adding those indicator lights on the sides correct yes that that orange that amber turn signal is a great added mm -hmm. feature uh, so this one was kind of before we got to doing that but, yeah. uh, all right so we had talked about kind of the side ramp this is how you get your horses in and out on this trailer yep. so that upper door comes down, the ramp comes down, then and you can it's load. Super light and easy, but very, very yeah. strong. We have various springs, and we can mix and match those to get the right amount of leverage on those ramps. We want to make these things easy to use, um, not something you got to get two grown men to close this ramp. Mm -hmm. So, and a lot of people with ramps are worried about kind of the texture of the ramps, making sure their horses aren't going to be slipping in and out. Okay. Kind of why did you guys decide to go with? We've used this this really grippy type mat. It's a thin mat, but it's, it has a lot of grip to it, a lot of texture. Um, we see that, that livestock does very well on this mat without adding a lot of weight. Um, the other option is kind of a ribbed rubber mat that has a lot of weight to it. That can still be slick, but overall this has been a, a great mat that we've used for probably 14, 15 years yeah. on the same bender. I have a 2009 Cimarron. It's a little uh, two horse bumper pull warm blood. It's got the fold down ramp. This is the same material that they have on this. And as a 2009, it's 12 years old at this point since yeah. we're in 2021s. It's still in great shape, no rips, tears, or anything like that. So longevity wise, he is correct. They do hold up well. It's a very durable product. For sure. Yeah. All right, guys. So we get up in here in the stall area, and the, the neat thing about these four horse head to heads is that you can get to any horse, you know, um, through this side ramp, um, which is really, a unique feature. We talk about a slant load trailer where the first horse in is going to be their last horse out. So a lot of the transporters you see running up and down the road and some of our customers um, prefer these head-to-head -head models so they can get to any horse 
Um, you know, they may have horses in here from two or three different farms. Um, also, you've got larger stalls for the warm blood hunter jumper type horses. Yeah, and this trailer is a little extra wide. It's seven six wide. Yes. Um, on, is that pretty standard for most of our head to heads, or do we do the six ten wide? Uh, a lot of the the two horse, the four horse head to heads are going to be a standard six ten wide, mm -hmm. with the option to go seven and a half. When we get into a six horse head to head model, then we're going to be an eight foot wide. Mm -hmm. Um, but Andrew built this one seven and a half wide to give a little bit more body width. Yeah, he's got so, big horses. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they do. So. Right. so like I said, this is a trailer that's currently being used, so we've got some shavings down here. Do you want to talk about maybe we, we try and, and really um, explain to people the best way to take care of these floors right. so that we don't have issues with um, pitting of the aluminum? Kind of what are your suggestions? My suggestions are, are frequent cleaning of your trailer. I mean, any trip you take, you want to, you know, immediately afterwards clean out the manure, clean out the wet shavings, and get that out of the trailer as soon as you can. And that's just good maintenance, good care of your, your trailer. These are a large investment. You want to take care of it for many years. Um, depending on how often you haul, I'd suggest you clean, take the mats out, and power wash the floor at least twice a year, you know. Or if you've been on a big trip, maybe multi-day trip, and been in here, when you get home from that, clean it out. But you want to take the mats out, clean that aluminum, let it dry completely, throw some baking soda on it, and then put your mats back in. You don't want to create a situation where the horse urine stays in the trailer underneath the mats. And, and regardless of what kind of trailer you have, if it has an aluminum floor, you need to take those precautions and do that, just for good long-term maintenance. Absolutely. So. All right, so this first area over here, um, this is, in this trailer, you do have to back the horses into each stall. Mm -hmm. The nice thing about how he's got this one set up is that if you've got a horse that's a little nervous, um, maybe isn't super used to backing up, you can actually open the stall opposite of them and you can walk them in straight and then back them back. So these big, what we call our stud gates, <laughs> they're going to swing around and, and lap over on the opposite side and lock back. So that does give you, like you talk about, that big access to the stall. Mm -hmm. When we design our trailers, we always try to look at things, how to make it easy to use, look for one-handed application if possible. I don't want to have to hold on to something and pull a pin. So this, this bar here, we flip that up and the bar comes out. When I go to close that bar, I can just put that in there and it's going to lock down. And we have this little safety catch here. Can you do it one more time? Yep. So flip that and that let that bar come out. We also design a lot of our features where there's no metal to metal contact and that's going to reduce noise. So this is a, a UHMW, a very dense plastic material that we have machined. Then that screws into our aluminum cast that's in this tube. This is steel that's then powder coated. So we have a very durable product. We've, we've built that safety catch so the horses can't bump these bars out. But it's very easy to use. Callie, I know you and I were looking at trailers the other day and, mm -hmm. and how to, you know, some manufacturers are a little more cumbersome, but we really think those things through because you're going to be holding on to a horse, mm -hmm. you're holding on to a bridle or a bucket or something. So making them easy to use makes it a more enjoyable experience. Absolutely. And just having a quieter ride for your horses is a really, really big benefit. Um, we've already got the air right under this trailer, so right. that that's for your animals and for your truck. Yeah, anytime um, we can reduce noise, that reduces stress. And the roof itself also kind of helps deaden some of the sound in here, correct? Absolutely, the roof material we use, the half inch thick, the R3 thermal value, big advantages of that is, first of all, the temperature control. It's nice and cool in here this morning. Um, it's a really a thermal barrier. It does not let that heat just penetrate through from the, the sun. Being insulated, it makes it quiet too. You don't have an aluminum sheet up there rattling around like you would on other manufacturers. Mm -hmm. So it costs more, but here again, we're adding value to the trailer. And we spend hours training these horses, hours raising them. You know, you think about the breeding and the pedigrees and how to get, you know, any advantage you can in that show ring. Mm -hmm. Why not spend a little bit more on the trailer and have value to protect that in your investment you put in your horses? Exactly. And that roof is really, really strong too, correct? Because Andrew makes me jump up and up yeah. and down on top of it sometimes. You can walk videos. in that roof, you can bounce things off of it. Um, you guys have hail storms in Colorado like we do in Oklahoma and uh, you don't see near the hail damage on our trailers as you do as compared to aluminum skin roof. Um, mm -hmm. You know it'd be fun if we could get the insurance companies dialed down enough to be a discount on a Cimarron because of the roof That's but cool. we haven't got that done yet. Yeah. But, 
Um, we don't see any of the repairs on our trailers from hailstorms, and you guys have seen that here too. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. We 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 don't have to worry when a hailstorm comes through. We check our Cimarrons, but for the most part, they they tend to do pretty well, and we don't have absolutely. to have a hail sale on those ones. Right. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All so, right. But this unique setup, you know, the way we build all this, these dividers are removable too. Mm -hmm. So if you needed to, maybe it's breeding season, hauling mares and foals, this whole divider will come out and create a box stall. And you could basically have three box stalls in this trailer too. So it adds to the versatility of what we've built here. Um, we talked a little bit yesterday about these trailers that are an investment. We're going to be able to use them for multiple things. I believe in, in versatility and we try to incorporate that into our designs. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, this is a perfect set. I always, head-to-heads are my favorite trailers to sell. Um, I like those and the two plus ones. Yep. And that's just because they're so they're so interchangeable. You can go one day from hauling um, three separate horses on a long trip, give them lots of space, and then the next day you can throw some toys in here and take it out to the desert and it can, it can haul your ATVs side by side, all that. So I just like them for their, their versatility. That's why we build that verse still in there. Absolutely. So, um, so why do you have the, the escape door over here? You've already got an access point. We've got the ramp. We also believe in having an access door here too. Um, there's times you want to stop in you know, alongside of the interstate or gas station and just open up door and check on things. Mm -hmm. um, we, we've got the chest bar here that would go in uh, there. So if you did have a horse, maybe you're, you're hauling a pony in here or an, another mare or foal, um, you you're not letting that ramp down and giving the opportunity for that animal to escape. You can open up the door, check on them, mm -hmm. um, need to walk in here with a, a bucket of water to water your horses, traveling, you know, you can do those things. Absolutely. And we did a lot of drop downs on this. So it's, the drop downs are conveniently located that if you needed to throw some hay without even coming through here, you could easily do that. Right, the drop downs let you put the feed in, the water, also adds more ventilation to this trailer, gets some more airflow in those hot mm -hmm. summer months. Absolutely. I'm, we did something a little unique on this trailer. It's something that we're going to be offering here at Trans West. I'm going to go grab it while um, Ben talks a little bit okay. more about the setup in here. So, with this setup and these stud gates, um, we've talked about the latches that we build. We put these latches inside our gates. Um, again, we've got a stainless steel rod here. We protect that from metal to metal contact with that pushing all the way around that, to, again, to reduce noise. It's very quiet. And then those go into a slam latch here situation. You know, just like closing a, a good quality gate on your ranch, that's gonna lock in there automatically. You're not having to worry about lining up pins anywhere. So, it's so quiet. Such a quiet latch. And this other gate will fold right over this other one to allow access to the stall. Kelly, what, what you got there? All right. So. A lot of people, especially recently, have been asking us about cameras on these trailers. They want one to help them back up these really, really big trailers. They also want to be able to keep an eye on their horses in here, that they hear random bumps and um, they can feel a little bit of movement in their trailer. They want to know what's going on. So this is a system that we can ex install here at Trans West, and um, it's really easy to wire in. You can wire them into the marker lights on this one we did the interior lights. You can have up to four different camera angles or four different cameras in here on this one monitor. And, and this is wireless connection to the truck, right? Just it plug is. in a power supply? Absolutely. That's great. And like we've got it we've got it plugged in right here to this this little mobile um, battery box. Uh, but the nice thing about this is that if you have different tow vehicles you're using, you can actually switch this from vehicle to vehicle yeah. so you're not having to hardwired into that truck. If you decide to upgrade your truck, but your Cimarron, I mean, like yeah. I said, mine's a 2009. Um, you, can, you can keep this camera yeah. system for every vehicle that you that, have. That technology's come a long way. I mean, we've experimented with some camera systems in Cimarron in the past, and you had to have it hardwired in the truck and all these extra cables running from the trailer to the truck. And yeah. It's exciting to see that technology come along. Yeah. And the best thing about this one is that it actually allows you to hear what's going on in your trailer. So a lot of people, they're not gonna be staring at this monitor the whole time as they're driving. So you can you can turn the volume up so you can hear, if you start hearing kicking, um, that can allow you or your passenger to, to quickly glance at this monitor and see what's going on. Yeah. It's not just something you have to constantly be keeping an eye on, so it's kind of a safety 
safety thing as well. For sure, great safety there, and just that comfort of knowing what's going on in the trailer. Absolutely. Sure. That's good. So if you guys really like this setup, just give us a call. Um, we can get it quoted out for you to get it installed here at TransWest. It's really great That's picture awesome. quality as well. Yep. All right. Perfect. Let's continue our trailer tour. Bit. Anything else you want to touch in and on in here? Yeah, there's a lot of safety that we build in the design. We put radiuses on all of our extrusions. Um, again, we're, we've got an environment here with horses that are going to be uh, maybe young or, or new to Holland, and we try to build everything as safe as we can. We want to be take a lot of pride in, in building a safe trailer for people to use and also for the animals that are loaded in here. That's actually one of the biggest reasons a lot of people will buy a Cimarron here from us at TransWest is I just have them say, you know, horses, they try and hurt themselves on absolutely anything you give them them an opportunity to hurt themselves on. So I just have people run their hands over everything and it's a very horse safe environment and yeah. it usually ends up getting a lot of people into a Cimarron. Yeah. Well, they, we take pride in what we do. We've built over 13,000 trailers in Cimarron now. Um, we've got a great group of employees um, from front office to the everywhere in between in the shop and people with years of experience building trailers and it's just an awesome combination of, of people and, and dealers and the whole network. And it's an employee this, owned, isn't it? It is employee owned. That, we made that change about two years ago when the original owners, Michael and Lynn Terry, retired and then sold Cimarron and became employee owned. And that's been an awesome transition to go through and to see the, the pride even get greater and that we have more of a stake in the game and, and it's been a great experience. Absolutely. So. All righty. So. So with this, even though we have that back tack, uh, we still built this with a, a tack room up front here for more mm -hmm. storage. So. And something I like to point out on this trailer is we're seven six wide. Yes. Usually on these types of trailers, we have running boards. Right. It's not something you have to have. You on don't have these to have running boards. Correct? We can do the rocker panel, but we're doing all the eight wides. We can still do that on the seven and a half wide as well. Uh, really gives it a clean appearance. And it's nice because then you don't have horses trying to crawl yeah. up the sides of your trailer. Yeah. So again, we're looking at real life here. This is, um, and we didn't clean it up. Andrew brought it in here and this is what it is. Mm -hmm. But Straight that's how the trailer is getting used. Um, a variety of equipment to be on the road and, and to go to the show. Uh, a lot of storage in here. And this trailer is 710, 710 tall. So you've got lots of space for those big warm bloods, but you've also got lots of vertical space for storage and yeah. everything like that. And here, if somebody buys a trailer, you can always add a shelf, add hooks. Your shop's well equipped to do that here to, to customize it to what somebody wants. Mm -hmm. And this trailer, he primarily uses this one as more of a hay room. Um, so they can throw a bunch of bales of hay in here. That's why on a lot of trailers, you've got that marine grade carpet up here. But right. since this is just really easy to sweep out and keep it clean. Yeah, this, is, this room's actually getting used a lot more for all that miscellaneous stuff and the dirty equipment that you got to take with you. Absolutely. So we go up front, we built this with the V-nose and then the, the roll-up door underneath it. Um, of all the trailers I've pulled through the years, when you do a V-nose, the, the big radius, the enclosed gooseneck, which adds aerodynamics to it, and then the air ride, uh, you talk about something that's enjoyable to pull, you almost forget that trailer's behind you. Mm -hmm. It's so aerodynamic and uh, easy to get down the road. Absolutely. And I mean, you sacrifice a little bit of space if you want to throw a mattress or something up there, right. but if you're not planning on sleeping in it, why wouldn't you go for something like this? Right. It's, if you don't need that extra width, then we can do the aerodynamics and Absolutely. make it fun to pull. Perfect. So right underneath here, it's again one-handed. You can hear the air ride system kicking on. It's adjusting for kind of us getting in and out of there. Right. So we've built that with the enclosed nose. You've got additional storage. You can see we've got some windshield wiper fluid and maybe some other stuff with that floor in there. It gives us, again, more storage and something we always look at Cimarron and, and when we're designing the trailers is where can we add space that can be used? Uh, where can something have a spot where it can always go and not take up room somewhere else? And that hydraulic jack, what are some of the big benefits of, of going that that direction. Well, it's just, again, it makes it fun. You push a button and you, <laughs> and you raise the trailer up or down. You're not out there uh -huh. cranking. This is a big, you know, it's 36 foot long trailer. Yeah, almost uh, 10,000 pounds almost. Yeah, I mean, it's, you're not getting the workout, but it's, uh, it makes it fun. So. Yeah. If you guys feel like letting your batteries go dead, you can always 
um, jack it up by hand if you need to. Yeah. If you feel like you... It, it's there for emergency quite. use. Um, <laughs> Absolutely. Which does come in handy once in a while. Uh -huh. but. And on this trailer, we're going to go into a little more detail once we do our freedom later today. But he did put the Lion Energy batteries on here. Uh, yep. Those are the lithium ion batteries. Did he have you guys put those on or did no. he put them on after the fact? Andrew put them on here. Again, it's part of his experiments and uh, it's a great thing about him using the trailers themselves is they're We'll put some stuff on it and try it and if it works then we'll incorporate it in some other trailers and Absolutely. if it didn't work well we learned something yeah. you know that's that's how you figure things out so. one of the reasons we do those lion energy batteries is they are lithium ion so number one you can you can put them any direction you want they're pretty standard in there um, like like the marine grade batteries the lead acid batteries would be you can actually stack those kind of orient them however you would like um, but they have a battery management system on them, so they're, they're never going to go completely 100% dead. If they get to a point where they're too low on power, they'll actually turn themselves off, and there's just a little power button on there that you can press, and that can give you just enough to get this trailer put onto a truck, um, use that hydraulic jack, and as you're going down the road, you can actually recharge those batteries. It's a really cool feature for those. They're a little bit more expensive, but once again, they're going to probably cost you less in the long run because um, you're not having to replace them all the time. So under here we've got um, the air ride uh, kind of controls. Do you want to kind of touch a little bit on on everything that we've got under there? Well, the, the air ride control box, uh, very simple to understand, a power button and then the dump valve where you can let the air out of it. Also, you've got the drain cord there to the right side where you're going to uh, drain that and let the moisture out of the tank. Is that it? accumulates. You get your battery box, your battery cutoff switch so you can turn the power off those batteries. Yeah. And I have a lot of people that they really like the idea of an air ride system but they're nervous that it's going to be a lot more upkeep. They're pretty simple to maintain, correct? They really are simple. You just drain that moisture out of the tank uh, when you get home, meets use. Um, have your air ride suspension inspected yearly when you do your, your brakes and your bearings. Just, it's a little extra maintenance, but it's, it's very simple in the long run. Absolutely, and it's, it saves you money in the long run because it helps your trailer. Absolutely, it's going to take stress off the trailer. And again, on these wonderful roads that we have, you know, it's, it's a great thing. Perfect. And I don't know if you guys touched on it on the last video, but this is kind of one of the last things I wanted to point out, is having these digital combo locks. So he's got them on all the man doors on this trailer. I highly recommend them. It's just so much easier than carrying a set of keys mm -hmm. or keeping track, especially with a trailer you're going to have multiple people using. Yeah, so you don't longer. have to go find the person that has the keys. You can keep it nice and safe. Um, and I would lock it and show you guys right now, but I don't know the code, so <laughs> we can do that on another trailer. Yeah. All right, any last things you want to kind of touch on on this one? Uh, it's, it's a great layout and it's got some added extras I think you'll enjoy for sure. Okay. So this is a demo. Um, if you guys want to come come check it out, try it out. Uh, we've got it here at TransWest every now and again, but if you want to call us a he call ahead, we can make sure that it's sitting here for you guys to come look at. Um, for any questions on this unit, the stock number for this one, it's a 2019 Cimarron North Star head-to-head. -head. It's 5N. 181-267. This one's a demo, so um, come come check it out. Come come grab this one so he can start experimenting on a new one. All right. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thank you, Kelly.